Hey, I want to talk about this. What scares me about making this video right now? Why, why do I not want to do it, even though I want to do it? What's... What scares me about... about thinking that maybe what I believe isn't real? Oh, or that it's not the only reality? What is it about that that freaks me out so much? Why am I like resistant to it? Why is it that when I get into an idea so deep, something new, that I freak out and I want to stop talking about it? Why? Is it because it's uncomfortable? It is. It's because it's uncomfortable. I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to change my beliefs again. I don't want to, but I do want to, because I, because I realize that taking on a new idea is pretty fucking amazing. Turn some more light on. To realize, to realize that, like, okay, I was just at work. I went in at nine, and um, because it's Columbus Day, and they thought they were gonna need a lot of servers. It's gonna be busy, but it wasn't. So I got cut, and me and uh, my friend Alana, who also works there, she got cut, and we were talking, and I drank a latte that I made, and I made it really strong, uh, because I, I don't make a lot of coffee drinks. No, there are no mistakes. I made it strong because I wanted to get a caffeine buzz, which I don't normally drink caffeine. So it fucking really affects me. It really gets me wound up. I'm wound up right now. <laughs> um, and we started talking about lots of stuff, about, you know, reality, about your perceptive reality, and about the what I, what I call the uh, persistent reality, which is like this microphone and this cup and the house that I live in. But then there's the perceptive reality, like, is this, mic is this microphone a piece of shit, or is it a good microphone? Am I angry about the fact that my walls are blue, or does it not bother me? Do I like it? That's just as much reality as the fact that the walls are blue. And that is up to me, if it's cool or if it sucks. So there are two realities, and they're like layered on top of each other. It's kind of existential, I know, because they're, it's, not like a, it's not like math. In this, in this, when it comes to like perception and, and you know, subatomic theory or astro, well, not astrophysics, what, physics that go beyond what we do know for sure, or what we think we know for sure, the stuff that even physicists will flat out say, I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea how this works or why this is this way. When it gets into that, it's like, it's tiresome and people want to shut down. I want to shut down to it because, I think, because it's new and it's an idea and, and it's a frontier and it's scary and you might end up somewhere that you weren't expecting and you might end up believing something that you hadn't intended on believing or questioning something that you thought you did believe or that you did believe up until now. And what really jacked me up today was that when we were talking about Alana was saying that there are every everything is something. Even even the voids, even the pauses, even the silence, even the vacuum in space, the 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 nothingness in between the, the somethings, in between the planet and the asteroid, or the pocket of air. There's there's pieces of nothingness of non-existent of non-existence but then she was saying even that stuff even that even that nothingness is something and I think this is a place where it gets kind of dangerous um, where our words can't do it justice because it's so much you know our words are so rudimentary and basic and they're just I mean they're labels and that there's nothing wrong with labels but they're they're pretty ineffectual when it comes to talking about stuff like this how the fuck are we supposed to explain that nothing is actually something? It's a blatant contradiction in the English language, in any language. But doesn't mean that it's not real. 
So okay, so let's take and let's think that for a second that nothing actually is something. That when you go like this, this is something she was saying, she's moving all sorts of stuff around. She's not moving her hand through the air. She is creating a chain of events that's affecting everything. That's affecting the universe in this way. Everything is something. Everything is important. And I got... Like my mind, it started to get fried, but that was just me shutting down to it because I was afraid of it. Because it's an idea that I've never really looked at it from this angle before. I've always just said, you know what, there are things, and then there is nothing. And life is about manipulating the things, manipulating the things to create a situation that we live in. And I guess that's still true, but this the fucked up is that even the nothing, the things that I think are insignificant, you know, the, the things that I glaze over, like the air, like a fish with water, they think that that's all there is. They don't realize that it's water in the ocean on the planet where there's air and people, and the fish don't realize that. They just think that that is it, and that that water doesn't even exist. They, I'm sure they forget about it. Like, we forget about the air. We don't think about it as something that exists around us, that exists within us. So, okay, what we do is con this consciousness, what we're able to do is affect the things around us and create a, create a world of things affecting themselves. But now fucking think about this. Even the things that we don't think are real, the things that we don't realize exist, we affect that shit too. We affect everything. Everything. Even the nothingness. We affect it all. And we affect it however we want to affect it. And it's all related to each other. Everything's related to everything else. The air, when I wave the air around, it's related to this wall. And this fucking camera and this microphone. And when I knock the microphone over, it's related. That sound you hear affects you. And it affects me. And I did it. I made it happen. I've created a reality. I've created a feeling of discomfort. Now, see, it's, it's so fucking existential. It's so deep that it hurts and that it's borderline boring, but it's not boring. That's the thing. It's not boring. It's just fucking scary to think that what we've believed all this time might not be the only answer. There might be a lot more to life than what we think. I'm like sick because it really, I, I really listened to it. I really thought that maybe it's true. Just think that. Maybe it's true. Maybe not, but maybe. And if reality actually is whatever we believe it is, then wow, all of a sudden we have a lot more control over everything than we thought we did. It's interesting shit. Oh, thanks, Alana, for putting me through that. Although I put myself through it. Thanks for putting yourself through it with me. <sighs> See you guys.